You might know giant pandas as the symbol of Chinese wildlife, but there is another rare species that has endured the test of time longer than the bear-like mammal, Chinese sturgeons. They have been roaming the Earth's waters for 140 million years, but the number of wild Chinese sturgeons has dropped sharply because of human activities including overfishing. What has been done to protect them? Let's find out. I went to Yichang City in central China's Hubei province to see firsthand how the endangered Chinese sturgeons are now flourishing through an artificial breeding program. And I attended an official release of 500 artificially bred Chinese sturgeons at the end of the trip. My first stop is a research institute which serves as a haven for the rare fish. Dr. Su Wei, who specializes in hydroecology at the institute, spoke in detail about their work. This research is mainly focused on protecting the wildlife and protecting the wildlife. So I'm now here at the uh, Chinese Sturgeon Breeding Workshop and within this uh, building there is, there's an enclosure like this. When I spoke to the guys who work here, apparently they're fed uh, five times a day. Um, I think two, twice in the morning and in the afternoon and also in the evening. So I'm going to have a go at feeding uh, some of their fingerlings. When they become bigger in size, the fingerlings are trained to catch fish on their own to make a smoother transition to the wild when they are released. So just now we went into the uh, indoor enclosure uh, where we saw, you know, uh, sturgeons that are a few months old. Uh, these sturgeons, uh, they are quite big in size and they're about three to four years old. So you can see the size difference. Uh, you can see the process where they actually stay in that enclosure for about, you know, a few years and they actually come out into this outdoor pool where they are bred, artificially bred. So, through这个通过多年的一个研究呢，就说实现了一个在全人工这个条件下呢，对于中华鲟的一个繁殖取得了一个成功，就说摆脱了这个野外的，就说依赖这个长江野生中华鲟资源进行人工繁殖的这么一个
Take that. There we go. Uh, so it's basically released two at once. That was uh, more than what we expected. I expected to release just one. These sturgeons will gradually swim downstream into the Yantu River Delta before entering the sea. 500 Chinese sturgeons are being released at the ceremony and 50 of them have tracking devices on them. After their release, the institute continues to keep a close eye on the fish, tracking its moves through a sonar detection system. It then takes several years for them to swim back, to mate and breed. Besides protecting the Chinese sturgeons, the China Free Gorges Corporation has built a complete ecological protection system along the middle reaches of the Yantu River. This provides botanical protection and water purification, and they are integrated into the Yantu River conservation strategy put forward by the Chinese central government. The Everyone agrees there's more work to be done, but the progress made so far shows that they're going in the right direction. I'm Josh, stay tuned with China Maxis.